In the last 24 hours, we've had some pretty tough news for people seeking asylum in this country. A, a decision of the High Court said that the government can continue to hold people indefinitely in what's called administrative detention, but it's, it's just jail. Um, can hold people indefinitely in administrative detention if they're not cooperating with their own deportation. So many, many thousands of people in our community had their claim for asylum refused by a thing called the fast track process. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people fleeing persecution from countries like Sri Lanka, particularly the Tamil community, but also Iran and other countries around the world. They flew, flew, fled persecution and then under the former Morrison government had their claims well, pretended to be assessed under this fast track process. They weren't interviewed, they weren't asked questions, and thousands and thousands of people had their asylum claims rejected and refused, and they've been put on bridging visas. And even the Labor Party acknowledges that is wrong. And they have legislation next week which will support, which, which will overturn that process, because they acknowledge it's wrong, they acknowledge it's unfair. But, but despite that, Labor still wants the power to hold those thousands of people in indefinite detention if they don't cooperate with their removal to face persecution in Iran or to cooperate sending their kids back. They still wanted the power and they fought for that in the High Court and, and tragically the High Court yesterday said yes, Labor could do that. What kind of government fights for that outcome from our courts? What kind of government tries to say we, we don't have the right to be free from indefinite detention if we have a genuine sense of persecution? Well. Unfortunately, the Albanese Labor government fought for that and got that. They called it a victory. They called it a victory. Shame on them for running the case. Every single rotten aspect of Operation Sovereign Borders that we fought you know, tooth and nail against Morrison, we've now got to fight again. Kill the bill! Kill the bill! Kill the bill! Kill the bill! Kill the bill!